Hello, I'm Edward from Obsidian Control Systems. Uh, let's take a look at multi-part fixtures. So, typically, uh, a fixture you might think may just have a single light source that can be controlled. Uh, that, that would be a kind of standard fixture. Um, but... There are a large number of fixtures where they have multiple light sources that can each be controlled individually. Uh, and in Onyx, we refer to those as multi-part fixtures. Uh, and if it's a fixture that has multiple different elements to it, it just adds a little extra layer of complexity. So let's take a look at how we can control those. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually patch uh, such a fixture. So I'm going to go to Menu, Patch, commands, new fixture, and if I go to search, I have actually already searched for this. I know, slightly cheating there, uh, but I'm going to go and find a Elation Color Chorus 72, and I would like it in RGBA mode. Now, first thing to be aware of is notice here, I've got a little toggle switch, virtual dimmer on or off. Now, this particular fixture has multiple segments of red, green, blue, amber pixels. So it's got multiple uh, red, green, blue, amber pixels. Um, but it, within the fixture itself, those RGBA parameters don't have an intensity to scale them. They just purely have the color controls. Uh, and in this so these sorts of situations, it is really useful to enable the virtual dimmer because that way Onyx will create an intensity for each color mixing segment. And that just makes fixture control a lot easier. So with those enabled, I'm going to go and say 301 through 308, because I would like eight of those fixtures. And I want them at DMX address one on universe three. So I'm going to say slash three and hit enter to patch those in. At the top of Onyx, we'll see our progress bar running through as those get patched in. And we can see there that they have indeed been added. And we get that little plus icon to expand it. Uh, we don't normally see that with, uh, with normal fixtures. But if we expand it, that then actually shows us the 12 parts of that single fixture. So you can see that we've got a 301.1 through to 301.12 with these fixtures. So what I'm going to now do, I'm going to exit patch, and you'll no notice now in our fixture center, we've now got each one of those individual cells uh, displayed here in our fixture center. If I go and open my capture window now, and I go and say 301 through 308 full, you can see there that we've got access, we've got control of our LED strips. So these are eight co uh, Color Chorus 72s, so eight LED strips along the back of our stage here. So if I go just go and say, I'm going to double tap clear. If I just go and say 301 full, um, well, I'm going to be turning that fixture on just like you would expect any normal fixture. Um, but what's actually happening there is when we say 301 full, but uh, Onyx is automatically all at once turning all of those cells on together. Now, if I wanted to, I could go and say 301.3 through 301.6 full. And now I've just turned the intensities of those particular cells on. So I'm just turning those particular pixels on of that fixture. Whereas if I go and say 301 full, I'm turning all of those pixels on. So I could even go and say 301.5 full, just literally to grab that single pixel of that fixture. And I could go and if I wanted to then color mix on that particular fixture. Uh, and I'm just, uh, just adjusting that individual pixel there of the fixture. So basically, any fixture that you do um, that that you do patch that has multiple light sources that can be controlled individually, LED buttons like I'm using here are a prime example of it. Um, you just need to be aware of the additional. Um, parts in Onyx that will be generated to be able to control that fixture. 